What's going on, guys? In this video, I wanted to start, uh, I wanted to kind of continue the conversation of our Pat Sale um, play breakdown, and I wanted to basically give you guys essentially a little bit of a guide to the gun bunch. Um, we're going to spend a lot of time in the New England Patriots playbook in Madden 22, and if you've not already gotten my Madden 22 playbook guide, you can get that down in the description. It's the whole playbook completely broken down. But uh, what I want to do um, is I want to talk a little bit about the New England Patriots uh, bunch. I think that their bunch is very underrated. I think that people, um, you know, there's some reasons why people don't use it. But when you com when you combine this bunch with everything else that the New England Patriots has, I think it's probably at least one of the top three offensive schemes uh, in the game because you combine trips tight end with bunch, with U trips, with spread, with a slot offset, split close, and on and on and on and on. So um, I wanted to continue to talk through Pat Sale a little bit with you guys today. Like I said, if you want to get my full New England guide and you want to get basically page for page and video for video, the best guide that I've ever put out, um, you can get that down in the description. We're going to be continuing this uh, in Madden 22 and getting really in-depth with New England because New England's going to be the best playbook next year, in my opinion. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk a little bit more about the additional routes in Pat Sale other than the post route. So if you want to see the video that I broke down on covering the post route, um, it's just basically the video before this one. Uh, but we're going to talk about these three routes on the right and really how you can create just a really fun play to run. Um, routes that can get open against any defense and, and it's just a lot of fun. So anyways, Pat Sale. Um, you don't have to have a route master to run this. I honestly... Um, prefer just in regs when I play this with when I use the scheme in regs uh, I'll just use uh, the Packers because of Gunslinger uh, Gunslinger is the most important ability but I'm just trying to show you some different routes and stuff with Brady and just things that you could do in Mutt um, I've been actually kind of shifting back to playing a lot of regs in preparation for Madden 22 the main reason why is because you have to be prepared to play with lesser than players. You have to be prepared to probably play without hot route masters. So those are some things that you might think about doing as you're getting ready for the next year's game. So Pat Sale, um, the route that I really wanted to focus on for this video is a C route. And um, so all I want to do is I just want to run the play. I've got a basic Mabel coverage setup um, with my curl flats on 10, my cloud flats on 30, and my hook curls on 10. So I just want you to kind of see how this is going to play. Uh, so we're just going to snap the ball and we're just going to watch um, real quick. And I'm just going to try to throw it into coverage here. And as you can see, I can. Um, what I really like about this C route is it's really awkward, I think, for the defense to defend it. It's, it's really not something that they can defend, I think, in their base defense. And that's what makes this a lot of fun. Because as you're building this, the biggest thing that I can give you, if, if you want a really good piece of advice for running gun bunch, um, this came out of Dubby's mouth, and I have a lot of respect for him and what he's been able to do in his bad career. He said that bunch will always be good because it is compression on one side and it is spread on the other side. Another reason why it, it, it's actually um, a compressed set that you can turn into wide trips halfback weak. Because with this motion right here, I now have wide trips weak. Right? Um, with, with this motion right here, I now have like a, a flank or close or like a like a tight doubles uh, set to the right and then a double set to the to the to the left. So, you know, my my point is that there's with motion and with spacing you can create different com concepts. And so, what I can do on this left side is I can create the most unguardable two-man route combination that I believe exists in Madden 21, and that is simply to put the triangle receiver here on a flat route. Um, out of bunch. The reason why is because the way that this defense is going to have to be played, if this guy blitzes, I could be dropping everybody else in coverage. I could man the running back up for all I care. If that outside linebacker blitzes, I'll throw it right now and I'll take my five yards every single time just like that. Okay, This gives you an instant route that will kill um, the blitz. The other thing that I like about this, a lot of people have shifted, and I'm going to be talking about zone defense in a future video, so be on the lookout for that, about what every zone actually does. But a lot of people have shifted to using seam flat zones. The reason why people like seam flat zones is because basically they kind of play, um, essentially they play inside to outside. And so they play slants, they'll play post routes for a little bit. They don't jump the flats they still tackle in the flat. They still kind of hang with the flat. 
but they don't jump it. So, for example, if I were to put uh, if I were to put this route combo on the field and they had seam floods on the right side, I just want you to watch this tight end. You see that I can throw out the flat, and then I got a chance to, to maybe get out there for five yards, okay, especially on a 10-yard seam flat. So that's one of the beauties of this. So I can create with one simple hot route this two-man route combination that I think is insanely hard to guard um, because if they blitz me, then I'm going right there for an easy route. So now what I got to do is on the other side of the field, create a route combination that can basically work essentially the same way. Because if they're a good user, they're going to be standing right here. I can almost bet you money they're going to be standing right here. And if you try to throw that table route, they might just jump it. They might just jump down on it. Okay. So why I like that is because if you get a look like this right here that I'm showing you and this C route and they jump down to the back, What's going to happen is this middle of the field is now wide open. I can throw that C route right there. Okay, that's that's why I love this C route. It's really an unguardable route because um, it's being it's getting open at multiple different angles, multiple different points, and uh, that's that's one of the main reasons why it's super effective. Now let's talk for a minute about um, just kind of a traditional Mabel coverage. One of the ways that this route used to be ran, and I'm not saying that it shouldn't be ran this way was essentially a motion out. So you basically would motion this route out. The question being, in my opinion, how far or how long do you motion out? Is it just a quick motion snap or do you motion it all the way out? Those are questions that I have. Um, so let me just test it. So basically, a little snap motion right there and you see that look at where he gets to the, looks, well, look at where he gets on the field. Now the one thing I don't like about that right there is the purple zone was able to basically jump it. In my opinion, he ran that um, that C route, that outcut of the C route, he ran it super flat. If you look at the route, it is it is fairly flat in how he's going to run it. One of the things that's really deceiving, in my opinion, about C routes is they look a lot deeper than they are. Um, they look like they're going, like if you were to look at this, it looks like he's going to break at the 45 yard line on the other side of the field. But when you actually run this, he's going to break at about right at 10 yards. Um, but as you can see here, okay. So all that to say, um, all that to say, that kind of puts us in a situation where, again, the question remains, how, how, where, where, the, where is the proper point at which to motion him out? So let me show you a motion. If I were to bring him all the way outside, just like that, watch how this is going to play. One of the things that I love about this is, as you can see right there, it got wide open. The reason why it got so wide open is because of this principle that I believe is going to carry over to Madden 22. If you have an outbreaking route, specifically a uh, like a C route or a corner route from like Z spot, um, if you have an outbreaking pattern, if the and they're using they're trying to use zone drops to defend it, if the zone is inside of the receiver, then it's going to basically give the receiver outside leverage automatically, and the zone is going to be very hard pressed to get more outside. So when I motion him out, you see that the only player that goes is that outside corner. So he's got all that leverage outside. And as you can see there, the purple zone just stands no chance at getting out there, okay? It doesn't necessarily beat the 10 yard curl flat. It just out leverages the 10 yard curl flat. But what I like about that is I wanna keep, and I wanna keep showing this real quick, is this right here. So if you get a look like this, uh, where they're not putting a yellow zone on that side, this is where this play can become very handy because when he comes back inside, you can also low ball him on the cut. So, um, for example, and this is where this kind of comes in line with the idea of basically throwing this route open. Um, and so how you, and you can, you can really do that with this route. It's one of the reasons why I love it. Um, if I snap him right here, you're going to see that what I can do now is I can low ball him against the Mabel coverage really, really well. Um, the reason that I like doing that is because what we're trying to do is we're trying to give them two sides that are completely impossible for them to defend but their user. This is an example of that. So their user, I promise you, is going to want to be over in here. So this is where their user wants to play. We want to try to get their user to have to play over here because if we get their user to have to play over here, it's going to open up that post route every single time. And I'm just telling you from experience, it's very likely they're going to play over there until they absolutely cannot do it anymore. So if I put a vert hook out there from that defensive end, I want to show you why I really like and value the ability to basically snap this at different points. So if I snap it here, watch this. That vert hook 
is going to follow and get all the way outside. And as you can see, it plays it really well. It doesn't, doesn't stop it, but it does play it really well. Um, but if there's no vertical hook, then I can lowball in front of the Mabel coverage. So, you know, the vertical hook does do a decent job, in my opinion, at getting outside on this play. Um, and real quick, I think I put the linebacker over there. I want the linebacker over here, just for example. So if they have a vertical hook, um, they are more likely to be able to defend this. But it's all in the motion snapping, right? So if I get him out here, now watch. Pass lead it up on the sideline, and you see I've got, an, I've got a completion. Um, another thing that you can do, and we didn't talk about this a ton in this video, is you can do something else with these other two players than just put them on a flat and put them on a um, on a streak. You can there's other things that you can do, um, but in the event that we are able to get their user to have to come over here, okay. Uh, and this the thing I like about the C route versus the corner route is a C route will beat me into main coverage easy. But what I like about this is now you're going to see look at all that grass that is open for that guy to be able to be open every single time. Um, again, we talked a little bit about seam flats being a zone that is primarily preoccupied with taking away the middle of the field. So if you're throwing this table route all day on them, it's very likely that they're going to start to either man him up. That's a very likely adjustment. Or they're going to put a curl flat out there so that it'll play it a little bit better. And look at all the grass that you've got to throw your post route. If you can force them to have to respect the right side of the field, it's going to open up the post route a ton. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've not already picked up my New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. I think it's going to be the best offense in Madden 22. It's been the best offense in Madden 21. So if you want to get that and get an early start on the scheme, then uh, all you got to do is pick up that offensive guide down in the description.